what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to do a fight recap for Sam Goodman versus Miguel Flores. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that thumbs up button. It does help. It does support. And it does do a lot for this channel. So, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, let's jump into this. I thought it was a really good fight. I thought it was a nice test for Sam Goodman. I mean, he doesn't have a ton of fights under his belt or anything like that. So the more fights, the better, obviously. Um, somebody with experience. Uh, Miguel Flores definitely had some experience. Uh, but it was uh, Sam Goodman. It just seems to be a natural. And he just knows what he's doing. And he did everything correctly. Um, let's see. It was a real good showing um, that Sam put on, in my personal opinion. Um, Flores, he fought hard, but, you know, listen, there's levels to this game. Um, this is boxing and there are levels, whether you like it or not. Both guys fought toe to toe. Um, in my opinion, Sam didn't need to make the fight, didn't need to take this fight at this range. Although he was successful and he was very sharp at the range, I don't feel like he, he, he needed to make this fight. I felt like by fighting at that range, the fight became a little closer than what it needed to be. I mean, seeing the way that Sam fought, it was clear he was going to be, you know, just a sharper, better fighter. So he didn't have to be like that. It didn't have to be as competitive as it was. Now, granted, he won with a unanimous decision, so obviously it wasn't that competitive. But what I'm saying is Flores was in the fight. You know, like, he, you could tell the way he was fighting. He never gave up hope in himself. And that was due largely to the fact that Sam chose to just meet him where he was, as opposed to using all of his gifts and all his attributes in the ring. Um, Sam had a really solid, impressive jab. You know me when it comes to jabs on this channel. I can't talk enough about the jab. I think it's the most important punch. And when it's used and utilized correctly, there, there aren't too many things that can stop it, slow it down. And there's a lot of things that it does and creates in the fight. And what it created for Sam Goodman was opportunity. Um, one of the things that really impressed me with Sam is how well he mixes things up. He, he goes to the body and then he'll follow right back up. And I love that. I, I love that he's not just a straight, a straight shooter. I love that he's just not some head hunter that you can see that he's thinking. And you can also see that there's a plan and he's trying to work something. He's, he's making something. He's just not a one trick pony. And he's just not somebody who's going straight after the head. And we can kind of figure out what the, you know, what the recipe is for this one. no. There's something working up there, and he's just trying to figure some things out. And I love the fact that he does that. Um, you know, you got the liver shot, then it's followed up by that left hook. It was beautiful. And it was like every time he threw it, it pretty much hit on the button. Uh, the other thing that he had was that overhand. That overhand right was money. That thing was hitting. That thing was cracking. That thing was that was a hard punch. Uh, let's see. The problem with Flores, the problem for Flores was... Sam gets better. Sam gets better and better. So the more the rounds go on, the, the, the better Sam is going to be in the rounds. And you can tell he was getting sharper and sharper and sharper. He's the type of guy, once he finds his target, he's found the target. There's nothing you can do. You can't slow him down in that process. You, can't, you can no longer hide the target from him. Um, he's going to hit the target. So now you have two options. You could either go for broke and let it all hang out. Or you can try to like match his skill level, which we saw that Flores was not going to be able to do at any given time in that fight. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sam drops Flores in round eight and body shot. Sam had beautiful body work. Like he was like on it. He was on it. And he, the way he was fighting, it, it almost seems as if, if he wanted to, he could have stepped on the gas a little bit. But like I said, you need rounds under your belt, especially when you're, you are you have as little fights as Sam. You just need rounds under your belt. And you're already winning the fight. And you're already winning the fight by a large margin. margin. Why, why, why rush the night? No, I say get all the rounds you can get out of this fight. It's not like he's going to come back and you know do something spectacular or miraculous to knock you out. By all means, get all the rounds you can get. Uh, but credit to Flores for getting back to his feet. We got to honor that. That's respectable. He took the pain, he got back to his feet, and he got back to punching. It wasn't like he was timid after that or anything like that. He was backing up. No, he fought back, and he fought hard, and you got to respect that about him. Um, what I would like to see from Sam is a little bit more footwork. Here's the thing. Uh, the fight could have been a whole lot easier. You know, I'm going to keep, this is my second time going to that, but I am going to say it again. The fight could have been a whole lot easier. And that's simply if he would have just moved his feet, you know, and... 
you know, it's, it's, I, I get it. You know, the guy's not hurting you. I mean, you can clearly see Sam wasn't getting hurt. He wasn't backing up. He wasn't backing down. Um, he wasn't flinching. He wasn't doing anything. So clearly, you know, if there's no fear of what's coming at you, you can stay planted where you are and you can get off all the shots that you want. But at the same time, I think you need to work on all your, all your skills, including your motor skills. I, I think it doesn't hurt you to, to work on those other things. And yes, you won unanimously. Yes, you basically won every round and you did it pretty easily. But again, you could have left the fight unscathed if you would have done that simple thing. Like just you hit and then you move out the way and reset. It'll force him to reset and then you can just fire back. You can counter. Done. Simple as that. Little tweaks. Um, Sam gave Flores more of a chance just by not moving. And I do believe that. Just by not moving, he just gave him a chance. Now, I'm not saying that at any point in time, you know, Sam or Flores felt like I, I'm, I'm going to take this fight. But by Sam not moving, Flores is still in the fight. That's what I'm saying. Um, something I love is Sam's very consistent. I like Sam. Like, I like the way he fights. You know, he's, he's real consistent with, with uh, his punches. He doesn't give anything away. He doesn't waste anything. He's not one of those sloppy guys who just, you know, like, throws flurries or anything like that. Everything has intention. Everything has a purpose. And everything has a target. And for the most part, he's a really sharp puncher because he hits his target. And they're clean punches. Um, it does go to distance. But like I said, it was one-sided. Sam Goodman all the way. Now, in the post-press conference, you know, what was mentioned was, you know, do you want the winner of Inouye and Topalis? In which case, Sam totally disregarded Topalis. And he was like... Well, I don't know if anyone is going to stick around. And, and in all fairness, I don't believe Topalis can beat Nao anyway either. I, I believe he's going to get stopped by Nao anyway. So, so I'm with him on that. And his main thing, at least Sam Goodman's main thing, was um, I don't know if he's going to stick around at the weight. Now, you know, just being who I am, I got to like play it out of my head. Do I think Sam Goodman can beat Marlon Topalis? Yeah, I actually do. I, I, think he's, I think he's stronger than him. I think he's bigger than him. Uh, and I think he's a sharper puncher. That's what I think. And, and it, he's not the type of guy who fights off of emotion either. You know, yeah, you know, he'll stand in the pocket. But if you look at him during the whole duration of the fight, his tempo was the same the whole time. It wasn't like it changed. His cadence didn't change. Um, so I think he could beat Marlon Tapalas. Um, and, I, and yeah, I'm going to say this. I think he could even walk him down. Now, the, the big question is, could he beat Nawa anyway? And here's the thing. The, the, the thing about moving your feet after you punch, Niawa in a way does that. And Sam Goodman doesn't do that. Now, I don't know, like I said, maybe you just didn't fear what was coming back at you. And maybe if you did fear what was coming back at you, maybe you wouldn't move your feet. But, you know, you didn't display that in this fight. And when I look at, you know, the experience level between the two guys, you know, it, it's, I don't know about that. I, I think Sam needs to get a few more fights under his belt. I think he's, what, 17 fights in? In which, or probably after this fight, I think it's 18, 18 fights. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if that's the case, maybe two more fights. And then I think that's a good showing. Just like I said, Sam Goodman has fast hands. Sam Goodman is very sharp. And he's a very consistent guy. And I think the guy who would, who's going to give anyway real, real problems is a guy who's consistent, a guy who's sharp, a guy... Um, and Sam Goodman gets better as the rounds go on. He, you know, he's not the fastest starter in the world, but once he gets going, he's that he's just going to get hotter and hotter every round. And I think that would be the type of personality or, you know, character trait in a fight to give uh, Neo anyway problems. But I do think it's a little early, you know, to be matching these types of fights. And then, you know, you got to see how things play out with Marlon Tapalis and Neoa Inouye. I do personally think that Neoa Inouye, after this fight, this unification bout, I do kind of think that he's looking at super fights and super fights only. However, um, Sam Goodman has a pretty big following. So, you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing because, you know, you are getting a pretty big sized crowd. His Sam Goodman's crowd with um, Neil Way. Anyway, it's crowd. That's a mighty big crowd. I mean, the only question is where would you have that fight? Um, but I would still put most of my 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 chips. I pretty much put all my chips actually in in Inouye beating uh, Sam Goodman right now. I, I think Inouye has much faster feet. I do think he has faster hands. I think Sam Goodman is just a tougher, durable guy. And I think if 
Neil anyway were to stand in front of Stan Goodman the way uh, Miguel Flores did, then I think anyway would have some issues. I really think he would have a very hard fight, a very long drawn out fight. And I think they'd both look like Apollo and, and uh, Rocky at the end of those fight because Sam Goodman is a very comfortable guy in the pocket and in a way is as well. But I feel his best range is at range. You know, it, it, it's not up close and personal. Not with a guy like Sam Goodman. Like I said, he seemed a little too comfortable just being right there and popping those shots. And, and even in the latter round, Sam was still sharp. It wasn't like they were sloppy punches in the end. They weren't sloppy punches. They were sharp, crisp punches in the end. So I I think he could give anyway problems. But right now, it's still really early in his career. And I would still have to go with uh, Neo anyway. But those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts down below. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.